Hi, let's look at nine, eight today in our math. Right now we're just gonna watch the video, okay? How can you compare three digit numbers using place value? Think about this question during this lesson. Compare 325 and 225. Compare the hundreds first. 300 is greater than 200. So 325 is greater than 225. The symbol means is greater than. When you compare two three digit numbers, why do you start by comparing the hundreds digits? The hundreds digits have the greatest place value. If the hundreds digits are not the same, then what do you know about the two numbers you are comparing? Do you need to compare the other digits? Nope. If we are starting in the hundreds and they're already different, we don't even need to look at the rest because we already know 300 is more than 200. The number with more hundreds is the greater number. You do not need to compare the other digits. Compare 736 and 756. The hundreds are equal, so compare the tens. 30 is less than 50, so 736 is less than 756. The symbol means is less than. How can you also use greater than to compare these two numbers? Oh, we get to try it. Show two different ways to compare 756 and 736, okay? So all we have to do is flip the two numbers. So 756 and 736. 756 is greater than 736. The way I remember this is this is an alligator mouth with teeth and it's always going to eat the larger number. Okay. So if it's pointing this way, it's greater than 756 is greater than 736. Or we could say 736 is less than 756. Okay, so here's our words, less than, and this one is greater than. So same problem, we just flipped our numbers. And when we flip our numbers, we have to switch the way we say it. You can say that 756 is greater than 736. In both comparisons, 756 is the greater number. Compare 897 and 897. If the hundreds digits and the tens digits are the same in both numbers, then what should you compare next? The ones. The ones digits. What do you notice about the ones digits? the ones digits are also the same. If all digits are the same, the numbers are equal. What symbol should you use to compare the numbers? Select Which one? This is greater than, less than, <gasps> equal to. The hundreds, the tens, and the ones are equal. 897 is equal to 897 you can use the equals symbol. Yay. Now you know how to compare numbers using place value. Okay, let's look at our workbook. We're on page 553, find that. Pause the video while you find it. Okay, Joe, Joy and Zach flipped three number cards. Then they each made a number. Joy made 501 and Zach made 510. So I'm going to go ahead and write Joy made 501 and Zach 
made 510. Okay, so who made the greater number and how do we know? So let's look. Let's look at our hundreds. Five and five, they're the same. So what do we do? We go to the tens. Oh, here they're different. Which is larger, the zero or the one? Zero tens or one ten? One ten. So who made the larger number? Joy made this one. Zach made this one. So Zach made the larger number. Okay. So how do we know? Well, we compared the hundreds were the same. The tens, Zach had more tens than Joy did. So down here, we're going to write 510 is greater than 501. Remember, pause anytime you need to. I'm going to go to the next page. Okay, so the video we watched was this, so we're not going to go over that again, okay? So we have 264 is greater than 178. You go ahead and copy all this. I'm not going to copy these words because that's way too small for me and my little copy tool, my writer tool. Here's the greater sign. It's eating the six, 264, so it's greater than. And I'm going to copy this down, trace. Okay. And we know that it's greater than because we started in the hundreds. And look, this number has 200. This number only has 100. So this number is greater. Okay. So 816 is what to 819? So let's write, fill in our chart. 816. And then we're going to write 819. And then we're just going to start. Okay. How many hundreds? They both have 800. So we go to the tens. They both only have 110. So now we've got to go to the ones. Which 816, is that less or more than nine? Six is less than nine. So 816 is less than 819, okay? And I'll type it up here and move it down. There we go. 816 is less than 819, okay? Pause if you need to. Okay, let's look at independent practice, page 555. Okay, I'm gonna do two of these and then you're gonna pause and go do the rest, okay? So let's look at number three. We have 572 and 577. Now, if you need to get your dry erase board, okay? And you write, you make you a little chart. Just like this. You make you a little chart that has two rows of boxes, two col three columns, or hundreds, tens, and ones, and you fill it in. It would go 572. 577, okay? This is what you have your dry erase for. Or paper, if you have mis lost your dry erase board, okay? No big deal. Now you can compare. Look at the hundreds. They both have 500, so we've got to go to the tens. They both have seven tens, so we've got to go to the ones. 572, 577. Is 2 less than or greater than 7? 2 is less than 7. Okay, so then you go to your workbook and you write 
572 is less than There we go. Just like that, okay? And then you do not have to erase all of this. You just erase the numbers and you can use it again. That's why I sent these home, okay? Okay, you work the rest of the page and then come back. And I'm gonna have done six, six, 10, and five. Okay, pause. Okay, 837, 837. Oh my goodness, the hundreds are the same. 